Brian Bach, Fast Time, once again, Moon American Stock Car Series action. What keeps going right for you during qualifying? I, honestly, I can't answer that. I really don't have a good explanation other than we've had a lot of success with qualifying throughout my whole career. Just continuing on in the Mid American Stock Car Series, fortunately. Back to your home track, Marshfield Motor Speedway. Just tell me your thoughts going in. You said fast time. You were pretty quick compared to the rest of the field. What's going on for the 40 lap feature a little later on? Um, I don't know. Hopefully we'll see some good racing. I mean, the place is probably the, the most competitive as far as both grooves being equal out of any track in the state. So hopefully we'll be able to make our way through traffic this time. I mean, we've been pretty quick in qualifying in the past and haven't been able to come through. So hopefully today we'll... Uh, be able to reverse our luck at home. You're a guy that's done a lot of traveling down at Dells, Rockford, Grundy, up to Norway. What does it mean for you to be closer to home here at Mid American Action? Oh, it's always nice to be able to drive to the shop and have a half hour drive to the track. But um, I like all it. I mean, in all honesty, I like all the tracks. I like the, the traveling of the series. It's just nice to be home occasionally. Brian Bach sets fast time and finally finds victory lane here at Marshfield Motor Speedway. Brian, the win, it was emotional for you. Just tell me what were your thoughts once that checkered flag flew. Uh, I, it was just about the win at that point in time. I mean, at, by the time we, I pulled in the victory lane, well, the thoughts of my grandfather obviously came to my mind. Um, he meant a lot to me and my family, so I was a little bit emotional. but. It was definitely a tribute to, to him tonight. To win at Marshfield Motor Speedway, your home track, what does it mean for you with the fans that you had here and your family as well? I love racing here. I love winning here. I mean, this place has always been the best to me at all the tracks we race at. So any anytime I come to Marshfield, it's always a good day. Uh, you slice through traffic, you got no walk on the race start. Just tell me a little bit about the race, working your way through traffic, and why the 61 car was so good today. Uh, it was pretty good in the, at the end, especially. Um, just, I don't know, things just kind of went my way. And like I said before the race started, I mean, it, it really comes down to getting some good brakes. And when I needed them, I got the brakes I needed to get through traffic. And luckily, I was able to get by them at the end. Uh, I just want to ask you a quick question about that uh, Bill Preetzel incident with Bill losing the motor. At that point in time, he was kind of gone and Nowak was taken off as well. You were kind of stuck back in traffic. What were you thinking at that point? Well, I mean, once he got by the leaders and we were stuck in traffic there, I might mean, figure anybody was going to catch him. I mean, even if I was better than him, which was questionable, I mean, he definitely went through traffic a lot faster. I mean, I don't know if anybody would ever pass him once he had that kind of lead. It's unfortunate. I'm glad to see that he was okay. Uh, definitely could have been even worse for him because he was real close to hitting the wall when he slid to a stop there. So I'm glad to see that he's okay and the car at least is okay.